that. Only you can perform that. Only you can initiate that activity. And if you don't do that, if you're not filling in your life with your life work or your mission, then there are gaps in your life. And what we do when we're not living out our true identity, we begin to fill the gaps. We fill the holes with garbage. So when you begin to look at your life, and you know that, that you're not doing what you can do because you have allowed yourself to be held captive by your fears. When you don't have a true appreciation and acceptance for who you are, and you allow yourself to be immobilized by fear, what happens in the process is that you begin to abuse yourself. You begin to sabotage your life, you begin to sabotage your dreams, you begin to unconsciously work against yourself. You become your own worst enemy. So what do you do about that? You, you begin to realize that your dream and your gifts have so much meaning and so much value for you till your hunger for them will begin to push you past the future. You were born to do something magic in small ways, in big ways, in quiet ways. Maybe it's not even millions of dollars. Maybe it's going to be one person you inspire with your story, what you overcome. One kind word, one message, one moment with one person can change the world. And I know you're capable of it. And whoever made you feel special, if there was nobody like that in your life, I applied for the position. I applied for the position to believe in you. Because I know how great you are. I know what you're capable of. I know this. Your dream's going to be tattered all the time. Sometimes you just got to hold it together with hope. Sometimes you got to hold it together with a little Velcro. I don't know what you got to hold it together with. Listen to me. You were born to do something special with your life. You're not invisible. You're loved. You're cared for. You're cherished. You're believed in. You came here with a purpose. Being worthy, being capable, having what you need to make you a worthwhile person that you're more than able to and that you deserve to be listened to or you deserve to have that dream and that passion or whatever it is that you see and envision it. You've got to see it in your mind's eye and know that you've got what it takes. So deciding as you look at your life and you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me? It's keeping me from breaking out. That's keeping me from living up to my true potential. That's keeping me from really being happy. That's keeping me from having a sense of adventure and excitement in my life. What's, what's keeping me from controlling my destiny? What is? And I'm giving that permission to you. And we must give our permission to fear, to immobilize us. Because whatever discomfort you experience, Whatever challenges or difficulty that it is, you've got to have it. I'm going to move in this direction. I'm not going to allow anything to stop me from doing what I want to do. When you check somebody's hand when you're writing, let them say, I'm unstoppable. See, when you begin to understand and acknowledge your fear, and you go forth anyhow, you go forth in a spirit and a knowing that there's a way that you can begin to handle this. There's a way out here somewhere. There's a solution. What it is that you're seeking, that you have the capacity to whatever comes up, to handle it, to face it. And rather than feeling powerless, you begin to feel powerful. All of the major downsizing that are taking place around this country, there are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of nowhere.